the film and TV industry is going to look very different this year than last. With best practice being having the least amount of people on set, or in a confined space at any one time. So we will see the industry adapt. And one way in which we expect to see this is with the increase in offset monitoring technologies. So in this video, I want to talk you through a solution from Teradek called Cube, and how it can easily integrate an IP workflow in your production. There are two product lines of Cube available, which is the 600 and the 700 series. And each series has two encoders and two decoders available. And the reason there's two models within each is because one has both Wi-Fi and Ethernet connectivity, and the other one just has Ethernet only. A Cube encoder ultimately processes your video and audio signal and points it to a destination, whether that be to a decoder, which in essence does the opposite, a live streaming platform, or the Teradek Core platform for remote management. The 600 and 700 series look near identical. The real difference between them is the codecs available and maximum bitrate for streaming. So here's my Blackmagic Ursa Mini G2 Cine camera, and I have my Cube encoder here mounted on the back. It's going to be taking a downscaled output from the camera using the SDI out, which will be 1080p, and that's going to the 3G SDI input on the Cube. I do also have a HDMI input available too, so if your camera didn't have SDI, you can use that. For power, we're actually taking a PTAP port on the back of the camera here to power that Cube unit. And for what the Cube does, it's very efficient. Now, before we can actually start transmitting the images from this camera to anywhere, of course, we need to connect this Cube to some form of local area network. Now, it has built-in wireless capabilities, and thanks to the two high-gain antennas on the back here, we can connect to an access point that's up to 600 feet away. So it would be truly a mobile cine rig. But of course, if this is going to be in a fixed installation or just set in one place, we can also hardwire into a local network here with an Ethernet port. Now, I've actually already logged into my Wi Fi on the Cube, and I've also logged into my Core account. Now, you don't need to use Core with the Cube, but to get the most out of it, I do think the additional benefits are well worth it. So now I've already put those information or those credentials, let's say, into the Cube. As soon as I power on the camera, the camera will boot up, and so will the cube. I shouldn't have to do anything because it will just automatically seek the Wi-Fi network that I've saved in there. And what it'll actually do, it'll just start transmitting straight to my core account automatically. It's possible to use a single USB 4G modem should you want to use cellular data. But for more mission critical live streams out on location, you can use the bond expansion module that will allow you to use up to four individual 4G modems to create a more reliable and stronger connection. So let's take a closer look at what we can do within Core, because that's where we can really get the most out of using these Teradek encoders and decoders. The Core platform is accessed from any web browser, and you can log in from anywhere in the world. Within Core, on the Sources tab, all the encoders that I have will be listed, and I can see that my Cube encoder is online and active. If we click into it, we can then get a preview of the live video feed coming straight from that camera. And just below it, I can see the health of the Cube's network connection. Now on the right hand side, I have the ability of pushing this feed to any of my channels. Channels in this respect refers to live streaming destinations, such as YouTube, Facebook, on my own custom RTMP server, and I can actually stream to multiple destinations at once. Below it, I can select any number of decoders that are linked to my account to receive the feed. This could be outputting to a production monitor or screen, again, anywhere in the world. I also have the ability of sharing the stream to anyone by sending them a secure link by email. Ideal for monitoring, from anywhere without the need for additional gear other than a computer, tablet, or a smartphone. Now this stream is already secure to a certain degree, but if we want to take that to the next level, perhaps if we're working on something that's very sensitive, then we can actually turn on secure mode, which enables 256-bit end-to-end encryption. I can record my footage locally on my cube to an SD card. But I can also record it on core and download it post stream or even push that recorded stream to another decoder. You have so much management control when using this platform. 
I can even jump into the settings of my cube and change any of the parameters remotely, including the encoding settings to even rebooting the device. When a cube encoder is pointed to a decoder, you actually get the benefits of two-way IFB, a two-way comm system. Both units have a headset port that works with Apple-style earphones. So whilst monitoring remotely, you still have the means of communicating with someone camera side. Of course, this system lends itself to the post-production world too. Any editing or grading suite could have a cube encoder that's taken the live output of the desk and then is shared with anyone who needs to be part of that post-production process. For permanent studio installations, you may want to look at the Teradex Slice, which in essence is a rack-mountable version of the cube. And a step above that is the Teradex T-Rex, which is a larger rack mount unit that can house up to eight encoders or decoders. So I hope that's giving you a flavor as to how these solutions from Teradex can help make your monitoring more flexible, scalable, but ultimately safer by integrating an IP workflow. Now I've only really scratched the surface as to what these products can do. So if you wanna find out some more information, just head over to the Holden website, or if you've got any questions, do just put them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching.